Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Bitsy Jam Rat, 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 one word, Rat. Um, every month there is a Bitsy Jam, the theme is decided through a Twitter poll by the Bitsy Engine's creator, Adam, and the theme for January is Rat. So I'm playing all the games that end of this jam for a minute each, 10 per video, links to individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. If you'd like to support this kind of content, consider supporting me on Patreon or following me on Twitter. Those links are in the description. Thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Next. We're playing Sudden Rat Death. You are a small rat in a maze of invisible death spots. You must get the cheese. Death is meaningless. You are a rat. The maze is full of invisible traps. If you touch them, you die. If you don't, you'll get the cheese at the end. That is all. This is a very simple game. You died. <laughs> I'm not a fan of games with invisible death traps, you know. She died, okay. Because it's all trial and error. There's like, oh. What? Yeah, I don't want to keep hitting the sign. You died. Okay, so it's because I went down there. I'm not going to remember this enough. You died, okay. Death is meaningless, you are a rat. That doesn't feel very meaningless. Hate invisible death traps. Not even rats should endure invisible death traps. Nope, I still died, I shouldn't have gone up there. Ah! Apparently this entire game was made in only 30 minutes. That's really, really impressive. Ah! Next. We're playing Meet the Rats. In this rat hole every day, always the same. Every morning we act like we're some fucking happy couple and that everything is just fine. I get up before her and march straight away to the kitchen. After a while, she comes in without saying a word and sits down in her chair. A tiny cup of boiling hot coffee, just the way she demands it. Two large pieces of toast, just the way she likes them. A small bowl of oatmeal with just a few blueberries on top, just the way she wants it. A tall glass of ice cold pomegranate juice, just the way she loves it. Her TV, I can't watch it. Every evening she eventually crawls back down the rat hole. She's always late, she's always drunk, and when she arrives, she manipulates me. In time, she passes out and I cry myself to sleep. It's very sad. In this rat hole every day, it's always the same. Every morning we act like we're some fucking happy couple and everything's just fine. Oh, I think we can go up. No, we can't go up. Oh, alright. Hmm. I find a bottle of rat poison. <laughs> oh, I guess we get to poison her. Oh. Next. We're playing real rat hours. It's a sleepy boy. Oh, it's the rat in a cage. You had a little champagne. Hick. Chitter chatter. Something about the moon. Scratchy scratchy. Welcome to the rat party. What a cute party. You had a bit of cheese. This is the opening mic. This is the open mic to do a lengthy rat monologue. Well, that was a nice party. Back to being a rat. This is adorable. It's just like a little. I want to see this rat though. A little party. Squeak. I'm having so much fun. Oh, this is really cute. Next. We're playing with the rats. Are we like a human? Squeak, 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 squeak. I do not understand what it says. Oh. It is cheese. Maybe it wants cheese? Rat, squeak, squeak. I do not understand what it says. Oh, I was hoping I could give it cheese. Oh, this is like a maze. We can only go forward in certain spots. Strange rat, you need something? You do speak, of course. You know, come with me. It's fine, though I don't know why. So I have to make my way around this maze, which is just a lot of tapping, really. That's a dead end. It is cheese. Seems like there's a lot of random cheese. It is cheese. Okay, so we need to go back, maybe? That's still a dead end. Is cheese. Huh. Next. We're playing Rat Maze. 
All the cats following me. Do not follow me, cat. I do not want to be followed by you. You are a cat. Gotcha. Oh, so you're just supposed to not be caught. All the cats are even chasing me. Haha. Uh -huh. Silly cat. Apparently the game is just a software toy. It's not a fully fledged game yet. I mean, it's a very good start for a fully fledged game. I like that the cat chased me. Be cool if there was some procedural generation to the. No, I caught you, actually. I think I need to refresh the page. It'd be cool if there was some, some procedural generation to the maze that was different each time. Next. We're playing Rasmus the Rat in the Pink Bowler Hat. That's a cute title. Early one morning, Rasmus was snoring, dreaming of what to do with his day. When a creepy little creeper came a creeping around the corner and whisked his little pink hat away. Then Rasmus awoke, he gave his forehead a poke and let out a sad little gasp. We gotta find the hat. Oh, I see the bug. Taking it. I will search far and wide. No place for it to hide, said the little rat, ready to go. I will do my best. I can surely never rest until my hat is resting on my head. It's very well written. Apparently there's two different endings to this. When he ran through the park, Res Resmus heard the dog bark. Quick, quick, he went that way. Okay, I didn't talk to the bunny or touch the ball first, so maybe you have different options on who to talk to. I'm in a grump because now I can't jump. I tripped and hurt my leg. Okay. He ran past the le these. He ran past the eggs with his many creepy legs. Said the cat after cleaning her claw. Hello, world. The chickens are like, we cannot help. We were inside a cage. We did not see. This must be the place. The end of the chase, Rasmus thought, while catching his breath. Ras Rasmus felt brave as he entered the cave and found the creeper along with his hat. The creeper stopped and stared. You're really not scared? My, what a brave little rat. I was jealous of you, rat, with your lovely bowler hat and wanted one just for myself. This is a great game. Next. We're playing lunch date is what it says. Here it says food date between rat girlfriends. Go find food for your girlfriend. I will. The bird in the bird cage on top of the dresser is being noisy again, but that's okay. There's some discarded sunflower seeds. You mustn't forget to eat. You're not sure if your girlfriend likes those, but you pocket them anyway. It's your... It's you, darling. It seems you've gathered enough food for a sinful lunch date with her. You nuzzle and squeak sweet words at her, skittering off to enjoy your food underground somewhere. You both very much enjoy the perfect lunch date. Now all that's left for the both of you is to cuddle up together and nap. We'll bundle up in each other's soft fur. Oh, let's go talk to my girlfriend first, though. It's you, darling. It's Oh, so even if I don't have any food, it tells me I've done it. Okay. What if I, like, check the fridge? Oh, there's a few bits of cottage cheese under the mirror. Good thing there wasn't any mouse trap attached to it, or poison, for that matter. Rats like you two are smarter than average and don't fall for such tricks. So it's just food, like, scattered all around the room. That's quite sweet. Next. We're playing Girl Who Eats Rats, which is already a pretty creepy title, but there's a trigger warning about um, death of animals, basically. So if you don't want to watch this, uh, feel free to leave now or hit the next video with a timestamp. Cool. Your name is Anna. You're hungry, but the only thing to eat in this field are rats. I didn't see any rats. It's a brilliant blue butterfly. Its wings are coated in frosty air you carry around. Does it not mind the ice that it's trying to rest on? Insects are cold-blooded. It will be an easy target for predators if it rests here. Then again, since you are here, it doesn't really have that much choice. You think you and this butterfly are similar in many ways. Your heart sinks a little, but you're still hungry. Oh, I was hoping I could eat it, because I'm hungry. I guess I did eat it, I guess that's what it means. It's a spike of ice made by your own hands. There's insects frozen within it, all mid-flight. You wonder why the cold must be so hostile to, ho to life. It's a buttweed, a beautiful golden flower that the beasts of the field can't eat. You watched a farmer give it to his livestock once after he screamed and shot at you. His aim was ass and his cows died. Good riddance. You pulled it up because you liked the color. You take a bite out of this rat. The flesh is crunchy because it's frozen and you cringe a little bit. 
It's a rat garnished on the antler of a dead deer. The deer's body is covered in a thin layer of frost, the head smashed from, well, you're glad this little rat can get something out of this deer's death. You didn't want to kill it after all, but it was stumbling around. Eventually it fell and couldn't get up. You make a note to yourself to come and check on the rat later. It's a rabbit. It's a pretty interesting, it's a very captivating story, the way it's written, that I have something to do with this ice that seems to have, like, really hurt the world. Next. We're playing Rats in the Vault. For your whole life, you were living in a bomb shelter. For a long time, it was, only safe, it was the only safe place in the world. Until the rats came. Out of nowhere, the horde of rodents appeared in the vault, wasting your resources and spreading diseases. They eventually started to feast on people. Your place is no longer survivable until you fight the rats. Rats are everywhere. Okay, so these rats just say rats are everywhere. I'm going to interact with the fire too before exiting. You found a fireplace. You take the branch and fire. You feel safer holding the torch. Oh yes, rats are everywhere. Yeah, they are everywhere. I'm going to go look at the broken stuff up there because I feel like maybe we need it. There are some food supplies still untouched. There are some food supplies still untouched. There are some food supplies still untouched. So we've got a torch and three bits of like rations, I guess. And now we get four bits of medical supplies. I bet you the world's just going to be fine. Or rats. Med kits can be useful, but on the other hand, they didn't prevent most of the deaths caused by the rat plague. Yeah. Fair. You have enough food to survive for some time. Together with a few people, you found the place free of rats. You survive for now. Huh. Next. We're playing Rattus Rex, a fragment. Oh, I can't read cursive very well. Through Oven City, Loom All Paw Printer, I followed paths long wander against, hinted by old world strangers. Strangers? To in June, to hex, to seek out, in quilt, gift, guilt, in quilt, G I L T, guilt, fear, ratus rex. Sorry, this is definitely just me not being good at small fonts and especially small cursive fonts. Against the nip of the wind, shivered I, clutched my cape around me, clutching my cape around me, near the sky. The sky, blue like I'd seen only in dreams. Punctured with concrete, so wicked, so mean. This is the dark place, living of the world, the callus that forms when a claw becomes curled, the scum that gathered on heated neat tea, reet tea, rat tea, a place without known, stands before me. Definitely seems interesting. Next. 